The one is probably the easiest and on the other hand most difficult. Today bring to me all mankind. That's of course everybody is happy. All mankind. That's why Our Lady also is saying in the apparition in Akito that we must pray for all humanity she uses instead of all mankind. All humanity. So that is all mankind, especially all sinners. Why especially? Well, because they are in danger. They are still on the way that they cannot be accepted in heaven. So that's why the sinners are very essential and immerse them in the ocean of my mercy. Most merciful Jesus, whose very nature it is to have compassion on us and to forgive us. Do not look upon our sins, but upon our trust. And that is one thing which is very important to, to underline, our trust. Not on our sin. We may have great sins, but look at our trust. If we believe and we trust you, that you are the Redeemer, that you are the one who has the fullness of mercy. So in that case, that is going to be enough or our trust which we place in your infinite goodness. So we put our trust like something what we are adding. And you now judge us not on the sins, whether they are great and terrible and so on, but on our trust. That's why Jesus says, I trust in you. And that's why he said that the trust must accompany every vessel of mercy, whether it's going to be the image that we must have trust in this image of Jesus and all other things which he promised that if, for instance, this image is going to be in the house, the house is never going to receive any disaster and so on. And there are so many cases like that. Yes, it's if we have, if we carry the image of Jesus. So the trust must be also with the novena, the trust must be with the chaplet, the trust must be on that hour of mercy. It's not enough to say that I am saying the chaplet at three o'clock. But do I have the trust? That's why Jesus said the trust on the feast of mercy. And he said the trust must accompany every vessel of mercy. And those who have great trust will receive lots. Those who are less, they will receive less. Those who have little, will receive little. And those who haven't got trust will not receive anything. That is somewhere in the diary, clear said, regarding this. So, look at the trust. Do you trust me? That's what was the great things in marriages. Do you trust me? But of course, the trust must be based on trust. If there are two people, it must be based on the trust that if you say that I will trust you, but you must be fair to me. As Jesus said somewhere else, that you don't throw pearls into the pig's pasture because it is too precious. Trust is something very precious. That's why sometimes people feel so broken when they discover that somebody was saying that it's trustworthy and suddenly is not. So look at our trust, what else is very important here, which we place in your infinite goodness. Receive us all into the abode of your most compassionate heart and never let us escape from it. We beg these of you by your love which unites you to the Father and the Holy Spirit. And here he says, we beg these of you by your love which unites you to the Father. Love, not mercy. Mercy is not needed between the Son and the Father, between Jesus and the Father. Because love is the area which has the power to make things united, the unity, and is goodness itself. That is the difference between, as I was saying before, between love and mercy. And that's why people are necessarily mixed and say in Polish, I hear sometimes, miłość, miłość erna. No, love merciful. Something doesn't work. If it's love true, doesn't need mercy. And mercy, that's why Jesus said that he calls mercy a separate greatest attribute. Because mercy is the one which we humans need for our conversion and purification and development of our holiness in order to be purified. So united to the Father and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit also doesn't need mercy. 
Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon all mankind and especially upon poor sinners, all enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, show us your mercy, that we may praise the omnipotence of your mercy forever and ever. Omnipotence, that we can praise the omnipotence, because that is, that is the fullness. The same as in the Bible you will say, when you will go especially in Psalms, that God says there is no other God, there is only one God, Our Lady in God. Our Lady in Medjugorje, she would say, I came to tell you that God exists and is one God. All the other gods, as God says in one of the Psalms, that they are gods made by human hands. And they have nose, but they don't smell. They have ears, but they don't hear. They have eyes that don't see. They have hands, but cannot move them. They have legs, but they cannot step. Very interesting, that Psalm which gives you the understanding that where the truth really is. So that is very essential always, but especially there, that's why it says that all humanity, but especially those who are in greatest need, and that is completely understandable. And they are together with others already, with all humanity, but there are some who are there, but they need help. And that's why they particularly must be immersed in Jesus' mercy.